Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, like 11.30. I'm tired. I'm sore. But we're out in the garage making a video for you guys anyway. Kind of a big day. Got a surprise package in the mail back on Friday from Advent Black. Uh, something I bought. Just make that clear. But I bought it like 10 days ago. I just had to wait for stuff to come in stock so it would ship. But I got a big pile of stuff right there from Harley that we're gonna be putting on the Street Glide today. In those boxes is my new tour pack. I know that bottom box there is the pack itself. Next one up is gonna be the back pad. I did go with the wrap around. Uh, I think the next box up is going to be the actual mounting bracket. And then the little box is my key set, you know, the, the locking key. And it is you know, uh, VIN matched or key matched or whatever, so I have spare keys. <clears throat> uh, so I've never put one of these together. So I'm gonna start cracking into some boxes and see where we go. I didn't need to worry about the docking hardware because I did carry over the hardware from the 19. And I didn't mention this before, but let's see if I can't get in there here. I did carry over my legend suspension from the old bike along with my floorboard extensions to go out an inch from Kimimoto. So kind of a windy, rainy, ugly day outside. So if you hear a bunch of extra wind noise, that's why. So let me, I think I'm gonna crack into the almost top box, whoop, right there and get that bracket installed onto the bike and just kind of work our way up. So let me get into that box and get going. All right, so that was fiddly. Uh, I mean, it was snug getting it up front here, which is, which is fine, that's good. But I did have to loosen these two T30s and kind of keep rotating that cammed bushing like this that's back here until I found where it needed to be, where these latches would swing around and latch. And that that took some time, because this is, maybe because maybe it's brand new, but everything is just super tight. And tight's good, we want tight, we look for tight, but damn. So, and before anybody asks, it's the Harley brand rack, it's the Harley brand four point. I'm not trying to mix and match Harley and Amazon or Harley and Advan or any other combination out there. This is Harley to Harley. So at least it's on there and it's it's snug. It ain't going nowhere, which is what I want. So now I'm gonna get into that bottom box, which is the actual tour pack itself. And in one of these boxes should be the steel plate that goes inside and the bolts go through. This rack came with the hardware which I'm assuming is, actually, I don't know what I'm assuming. I don't know, but they got directions. Maybe I'll take a look. So we'll get this box out of here for now. Get that back pad set aside and crack into that bottom box and see what I can uh, screw up. Okay, tour pack's on there. It is the king pack. I did go with the chrome hardware just cause that's what's on the saddlebags. Don't get me wrong, I would prefer, and I'm really hoping that Advan does this soon, but I wanna swap the Chrome hardware on everything to a color matched. I'm sure they'll do it in time. So I just gotta be patient, which is not my forte. But anyway, so what I appreciate about this, and we'll see if I can't get you under here, is these studs here, were already pre-assembled inside the tour pack. I mean, the plate was already in there. The, the bolts were in there. A uh, handy little mat, which I'm not gonna worry about. It was also in there. And in the box that came with this was a little baggie that had four flange nuts on it and two screws. I haven't figured out what the screws are for yet, but I'll thumb through that a little bit more and figure it out. But I do know that the flange nuts go on the studs that were already pre-installed in the tour pack, which I appreciate because I didn't have to try to reach my hand in there and hold the, the bolt and thread the nut on, 
all while trying to keep this from falling off. So it is 7 16 the four, four bolts under here, 7 16 so I'm gonna get those snugged up. I am gonna slide the tour pack all the way back as far as I can, because, I mean, you do get some adjustability, probably about, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches. But I think the wife is going to prefer having that all the way back, you know, give her as much room away from me as possible, because that's generally what people prefer. So. Let me get those cinched down and then we'll probably figure out the backrest back rest pad next. Okay, so backrest unwrapped. I just kind of went with the kind of the plain one with a little bit more flourish. I mean, it's not just the smooth back pad, but it's not the fancy CVO one that they were going to let me buy with the, like the velour tops. That just, that's something a little extra but knowing that I'm gonna put uh, a saddleman seat on this because that's what I do. So, anyway, flipping it over, on the back right here was our hardware there, which is our washers and half inch nuts. Our studs here, they're already uh, preset. And that looks like that's just kinda of got a pin that goes through and is held on with a cotter. And I'm, not sure why. I'm sure there's a reason. Maybe it's give it give it a little bit of wiggle or play for the passenger. So the lid has got. Let's see if I close this up here. Here we go. There we go. There's our holes, holes, holes. Uh, so I'm going to get this on and get it cinched down, and then we'll should be able to move on to an exciting part once I get the locking mechanism, my lock, installed somewhere. Ah, it's going to install right here, but under it is where I'm actually going to, whoa, you can't see that. There we go, right there. So I should have the screws for that, probably in that littlest box somewhere over there. So backrest, then lock, then exciting part. Hold up, hold up. All right, so lock is installed. Let's see if I can't get you in here. See right there, I don't think it's gonna focus, but right there was a T20 screw. And then, see if I can't, ah, there's the other one, the other T20. So I just put that in there, snugged it down, and it latches. I did grab my own key that came with the bike, along with the keys that they sent and everything locks and unlocks as it should, which means everything is keyed the same, which is great. I appreciate that. So now that all of that's done, you know, backrest is on, it's all snug down. The wife's gonna like that. Ah. Everything opens, closes as it should. Yep, that's gonna take some getting used to because that really reaches. It's a little box over there from Advan Black. So I ordered that just the day or two before I picked this up and everything finally showed up. My last bike had the saddlebag liners in it. I loved them, so I had to get them again. Only this time, we didn't go orange. Cause that's not orange. Not that the last one was, but that's not orange. So let's see here. Let's get one of these out. Don't know which one I'm taking out here, but we're taking one of them out. There it is. This time we did the red stitch. And these are really simple to install. They come with a giant roll of Velcro that I just run around the perimeter of the saddlebag, you know, up towards the top. And I'll do the same thing because I got it for the tour pack as well. So never done a tour pack. But we're gonna start with the saddlebags because I gotta get all the crap out of there. Run my my Velcro around the perimeter, drop it in there, and I'll show you guys how that looks once I get it in there. All right, so they're in. I do like that they added the the new pocket. That's handy. But as far as the Velcro goes, I just did you know spots along the front, kind of along the side, the back. Um, gonna have to fiddle with that a little bit. Uh, 
and then just kind of long did a one piece right up top here but these things are cold they've been sitting in my garage and then my warehouse before that so you know come spring summertime when everything gets nice and hot it really settles in nicely so I'll deal with that little bit of a pucker there I'm not worried about it the last ones were great so I'm going to flip over do the other one and then do the bag or the uh, sorry the tour pack and show you guys how this turned out because I've never done one of these and then we'll probably close it out from there so one sec all right so after probably 20 minutes of laying velcro on the other saddlebag and the tour pack here you can see how it came out so with the lid I did go a little heavy-handed you know ignore the the puckers that will come out so don't judge me or it yet um, but I ran around the perimeter all the way and then I did four I think strips through the the top so that way everything kind of has something to hold on to here I did just the perimeter strip here and I did have to pull the, the two screws the two t20s from here so I could feed the strap through the hole that they cut in here and then put it back on it's a little odd that they don't have a hole here for this to you know set up there but I'm not worried about it but feels real nice you know definitely gives it more of a finished look and it's definitely better than this rubber placemat that Harley gives you so you know we got pockets here for holding your stuff which I appreciate we got pockets here and here so the Advan definitely stepped up their game I mean this this is the first time I've gotten one of these but I've seen uh, Pro Monkey put one on a couple of his bikes and I don't recall the pockets so kudos to them I, I appreciate that so now that that's on let's make sure that cinches down perfect you know it's it's ugly but it'll it'll do its job it'll do its its function you know the wife will have plenty of uh, back support we can get two full-faced helmets inside or you know half a day's trip worth of her stuff in there i don't know it's not going to stay on here much what i'm going to end up doing is it's only going to go on here during a long trip or if the wife is with me so i will figure out some sort of a, a hanging setup and I know there's a guy that I watch occasionally at his name's eluding me but uh, he has a, a vertical wall mount that I might set up somewhere over here so I can just put it up there click it on call it good I wish I could remember his name or at least the name of his channel uh, HD vibe he's got one where he built uh, a system with two two rails on one by four and then you can hang this vertically instead of like the one Harley has that comes you know straight out horizontally and takes up a lot of headroom so I'll, I'll figure something out like that because I don't have anywhere to safely set it so I'll figure that out but that's our project for today that's all I've got uh, looks at everything I did today I paid for the tour pack the liners all that that was on me you know I don't don't have sponsors like that you know that are willing to throw that kind of stuff at me but if you're out there I'm not likely to say no uh, but to the sponsors that I have had you guys have been tremendous and I've had a lot of fun working with you guys uh, but real straightforward and simple uh, I will fill you in on what the wife thinks about the, the door pack she might love it she might hate it I have no idea time will tell but uh as always questions comments concerns let me know and we'll catch you all next time later